Hello and welcome to ArtTutorialsOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley and today we're going to be looking at how to draw an apple using coloured pencils. Yes, let's make a start. I've looked at the apple and I've decided to group my pencils. It's always a good idea to do this so you've got some control and organisation over your drawing. Here I've got my light tones, the pinks, the whites and such like. Here I've got the green tones, uh, the deeper oranges and yellows. I've then got the red tones here. Um, you can see the various tones of red, my blues and purples, and finally my blender for blending all the colours together. You'll notice that I'm sketching out the outline of the apple. I'm just in a very pale green. You'll also notice that I've speeded up this video by about twice the normal speed. Otherwise, you're going to be here all day watching it and you don't really want to be doing that. You want to be drawing your own drawings. So, what I'm doing, I'm starting with the greens. You'll notice I'm putting in all the light colours first and I'm trying to follow the form of the apple. In other words, I'm trying to draw round the shape of the apple. You can see the lines that I'm drawing are coming down the side in a nice curved way. The eyes, the reason for this is quite simple, that even though you're just putting flat areas of colour onto your piece of work, what you're really trying to do is to suggest this thing is three-dimensional. You can see here quite clearly how I'm trying to draw on those blocks of colours of bright yellows now that we're using and I'm trying to draw them around the shape of the object. So you've always got to bear this in mind as you're working along with your drawing. You can see here I'm just blocking in now. I'm going slightly darker each time. We're now down to something like the yellow ochres. And again, I'm just blocking in these small areas. It doesn't take much to do this. You've just got to take a little bit of patience. Slowly take it in bit by bit. Look for the colours, you see? All the light tones. They'll just keep blocking them in. You see, it works quite nicely. But this is where you need to make sure you've got your pencils in some sort of order, as I was suggesting at the beginning, because that does help to make things work really quite well. Here you see I'm putting the pinks. We're beginning now to move to the reddish tones because this obviously is quite a red apple. There's only very little green to it. But even with the pinks, you can see I'm still following the form, as artists say. You're following the shape of the structure of the apple. So blocking these tones. Now make sure before you start your drawing that you've got your pencil very sharp and you've got plenty of lead on the pencil because you're going to be doing a lot of scribbling and a lot of shading, particularly if you're doing a drawing as large as this one is here. Now, um, you can see gradually the red's now becoming darker and we're beginning to get some structure to the apple. The more structure you can suggest with the angle of the lines, the better your drawing will become. I'm going to start putting in the dark tones now. Now don't be tempted to draw things in in browns. You know you're using reds here so try to use blues and purples for the shadows because the red then if your red goes over the blue it just becomes another purple and you get that nice gradual change of colour as well and it will make your drawing look a little bit more lively than, um, than simply just using browns. And I'm going over this now with a much deeper red and you can see as I'm blending that on top, you see how dark some of these areas are becoming. I'm going to need to work further on this in a moment, but I just want to try now to, to block in most of the white spaces and suggest that the light is coming from the right-hand side of the drawing. So the left-hand side of the drawing is in darkness. I'm using now a slightly lighter purple now just to blend over some of the reds and begin to suggest the darks. Now you may want to try, when you're looking at your drawing, to try to screw up your eyes and squint at the drawing because then you'll see all the tones, you'll see areas where you need to make the tones lighter or darker. You can see here now I'm beginning to just suggest a little bit of the um, uh, detail on the stem 
just blocking that in. We're going to be going over this shortly with the stabilizer, uh, the, not the stabilizer, the uh, blender. Here we go. You see, uh, blending this in. Now you'll notice, I won't go through the whole thing, I'll chop the bit out here, but you see how we're blending over the top and it's softening the colors. I'm just touching up the little uh, dark areas now so we get a nice strong contrast. Um, in this particular drawing, I'm not worrying too much about the reflection from um, the paper and such like. I'm just trying to get a three-dimensional apple. Just trying to keep this nice and simple. So you can add a little bit of lighter tones on top if you feel you need to do that um, as the drawing develops. I'm going to suggest the shadow now. And you notice I'm using two rings. Um, the first ring is the very deep, dark shadow, you can see putting on those dark tones in purples then going over with a dark red but then I'll come over that with a very much lighter purple so you get this double shadow so it gives a really nice effect and finish this off then with a little bit of red and blend it in so we soften all the edges so the shadow edges is very very soft so you can see here we just run through this quite quickly you should be able to spend a little bit more time on this put in the finishing details finishing structures to this add a little bit of detail anything that you need to touch up and work from there okay we're coming to the end of the drawing now um, good luck with your drawing don't forget keep practicing the more you practice the better you'll become Thank you for watching ArtTutorialsOnline.com. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have enjoyed the video, then perhaps you could subscribe to my channel. And if you really enjoyed the video, then perhaps you could share it with your friends and get them to subscribe as well. That would be wonderful. Thank you very much.